What's up guys? Today we're doing another more phenomenal unboxing of Power Ranger figures. And today we're red with envy. So what I have here is two Hasbro Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures. Uh, they're both Red Ranger in different interpretations. So here on the left, you've got our classic Jason Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. And over here, you've got um, the Red Ranger Sentry that's more akin to the Boom Studios comics that does the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comic line. So this is not something that you would see in the original show. This is something that you'd see in the comic line, the comic series, whereas this one's classic Jason from the TV series. So we're going to do an unboxing of these two. They're both from the Lightning Collection of, uh, that you can find on Hasbro Plus. Um, some of these figures appear every now and then on Amazon, but they come and go. Jason's a lot harder to find. I do hear some run links that they're going to do re-releases of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures from the Lightning Collection uh, this year in 2023. They're going to be, I think, recolorings and kind of touch-ups and maybe even new face models or face molds for these figures. So I'm really excited to see if they re-release these figures in time for the 30th anniversary, I think that would be Hasbro capitalizing on the uh, anniversary of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the 30 year anniversary. So without further ado, let's get these pick, uh, these toys kind of opened up and let's take a, a look at what we have. Um, first thing I want to show you guys is if we turn these around, you can get the action poses for each of these figures. So you've got Jason right here with his sword. And of course it's the lightning collection. So there's kind of like lightning on his uh his sword right there um and then over here you've got the red sentry with looks like almost and i haven't read the comic books uh for this uh storyline i think this is tied in with the lord draken where he had different sentries uh protecting him but um looks like he's got a staff with again like a lightning blast on it so let's get these toys open um i'm going to start off with the red sentry first And again, this is not from the actual television show. This is a character that appeared in the um, comic book series. But uh, again, very great looking figure. And um, there's the backdrop. That's the cardboard backdrop in the box. The lightning bolt of uh, Power Rangers. Let's put this to the side. We're going to pop him out. Hopefully he doesn't have any little twist ties or anything holding him down. It looks like it's just him in the plastic kind of held back between the, uh, the cape. And the cape is, is something that's very cool. It looks like something just kind of popped out. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's his little lightning blast that goes on the staff. But... Um, I'll show you guys a quicker look of it. So there you see right there, the red sentry. Um, clearly different uh, stylistic, cha stylistic changes to this, um, to this figure, to this um, interpretation of the character. Um, I believe that uh, I'd have to look at the comic line or the comic series that focused on or introduced these characters, but uh, I'm assuming this wasn't Jason. These were other... Um, individuals in these suits protecting the villain. Um, and I could be wrong about that. Again, I'd have to look at the comic series. They could have been good guys. I don't know. From just my look of it, it it's uh, uh, I'm not quite sure if he fought for good or bad. There's a lot of stuff going on in that comic series where we introduced an evil version of, um, of Tommy, and it was a multiversal event, and a lot of things were different. So there could have been Power Rangers that were fighting for good and Power Rangers that were fighting for bad. But if you take a look at it, he's got the Tyrannosaurus on the side of his cape. Very cool. And the cape looks great. Um, and he's got like um, these different essentially outlines on his chest and abdomen that really makes the character pop almost like he's coming straight out of the comic book. So really great. Now, with his power sword, I'm going to move 
the Jason box for a little bit. He's got a dual bladed power sword. It's almost like looking at, for anybody uh, familiar with, um, with Star Wars, oh, I know these characters can stand it. You know, some of them, not so much as others, but it looks like he'll be able to hold a stance. Come on. The, the, the cape is what holds him back. I have another unboxing of the Lord Draken figure, and he had the same issue where the cape was kind of holding him, uh, holding him at an imbalance. But going back to the whole Star Wars of it, we had this character, Darth Maul, with a dual-bladed lightsaber. And here we have another dual-bladed kind of staff where it's the power sword, but combined into two power swords as a, uh, as a staff. And if we were to put that in the clasp of his hands, see if we can get that. Oh, there goes the cape. And I try to jam it into his hands. I'm not being very successful. Blade goes in there. Let's try this again. Uh, come on. All right, let's try the other hand. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. Maybe if I put his blade in that way, and no, that's not going to do it. Anyway, the, the hands are a little bit hard to put the uh, to put the blade in there. Oh. And now I'm like determined to get it into his hand. Okay, so not the best of luck. So we're going to put him... Oh, there we go, finally. A little bit of difficulty at first, and even then he doesn't hold it that well. Uh, I'm not even going to try with the second hand, but uh, let's see if we can... There's the plastic. Let's see if we can kind of pose him that way. So a little difficulty at first. Let's put the little lightning blast on there. Pose him right. Uh... All right, hey, uh, come on. So there's great amount of posability with these figures. There's so many different ball joints on the arms, on the legs. Just really great to be able to pose these characters. And if you put the, the cape on there, that's a great looking figure. Um, bring it a little close up. Look at that. That's just a great rendition of the character. Or a great rendition of just, not necessarily the character, but the Rave Ranger outfit. So just a great look to it. Look at that. With the, the cape just flowing and the staff and the blasting on, on the end there. I'm sure I can get that blast a little bit better. There we go. Look at that. Just a great looking figure. And I will say I am going to try to put, uh, this figure comes with um, Jason's um, head, his head mold. So I'm going to see if I can try to replace the um this head switch them out so i can have jason's head mold on this red sentry figure if i can just get him to stand there we go all righty let's see if we can get this one open and yes guys i do try to open many of my figures unless they are signed by the actor um just, you know, I like to be able to get my, my hands on them and just be able to, to pose them and be able to put them on a shelf eventually. Otherwise, it's just going to be figures in a box in a, in a tote in the garage, at least for me. Like, uh, I like to have the ability to display those figures. And, and sometimes, of course, they look great in the box. Sometimes they look um, perfect in the box. But, you know, for me, I do like to have the option more so to just take them out of the box and display them. Now, if I'm doing some vintage figures, like the, the Star Wars has the retro line, and of course Hasbro with Power Rangers did the flip head figures in their own iterations with the retro looking boxes. I'll keep those in the box, but these, um, these lightning figures, even though they're becoming hard to find, 
There's nothing really great about the, I mean, the art is great. You've got, of course, the, the Rangers on the side with their kind of profile. Um, and of course, you've got the action uh, um, pose on the back. But to me, there's not really anything jumping out at me that this needs to be displayed on a shelf unless you're going to do it that they're going to be on their side. It almost looks like volumes. And even then, you don't get a, a great look at the figure. So I'm not going to keep the boxes, but I will uh, have the figures out for display, or at least have the option to. So um, with this, uh, uh, Jason, and I, I will say before I skip ahead uh, to, to go into what the accessories are, these Lightning Collection figures do come with um, additional hands, so you can get different poses with the hands. Either they're going to be clasped or they're going to be open in certain, uh, in certain action poses. So um, just to, uh, to point that out, that they do come with hand accessories. Jason comes with a lot more accessory, accessories than he does, but he's a lot bigger of a, of a figure mold. So um, as far as what you can see here, he comes with the Jason head. He comes with the power sword. He comes with some additional hands, and he comes with that, uh, like that lightning blast. So we're going to pull out the lightning blast. We're going to pull out the blaster because if you can see, Jason has a little holster. So uh, something to note about the, the helmets. The helmet on this figure feels a little off from what you see in the show. It feels a little off. It, it looks like the mold is a little um, not really accurate or like 100% accurate to the show. It feels a little imbalanced in terms of the helmet itself. It feels a little odd. Um, the Red Sentry seems like a better mold of the, of the helmet, but I will say that of course, where you see the mouth, it's more of like this type of mouth without the lips. Whereas this one, of course, is your classic um, uh, Tyrannosaurus helmet with the lips on the, the kind of the, the mouth guard. So there's the blaster right there. I'm going to put it into his gun holster. Let's see. It seems like he's going to stand a lot. Yeah, he stands so much better because he doesn't have the cape and balancing him out. He's got the power sword. Let's see if he class the power sword any better. Okay, he handles it a lot better. There we go. And the Jason head. Now, for the sake of this unboxing, I'm going to first use this Jason head on the Sentry because that's really what I want to do. That pretty much the entire reason I bought the Sentry because it's a, it's a better looking toy than this in my opinion and to have the jason head on top of that just um uh, i just thought it'd be a good look and the jason mold isn't so bad it's a pretty good interpretation of his uh, his younger self in the first season um now while we're doing the the head replacement i am going to kind of talk about uh, what the 30th anniversary means and who's returning and for those that want to be surprised, uh, I would shut it off right now, but make sure to like and subscribe before you go. Um, they're doing a 30th anniversary reunion special, and they're going to be doing a third season of um, Cosmic Fury, or should I say Dino Fury, will be turning into Cosmic Fury for, the, for, the, uh, for this year in 2023. Now, I always have uh, trouble with the head uh, ball joints there. Ugh. Maybe he's not going to pop on. All right, let's put this down. So while I'm talking, I'm going to show you guys. For his good looking toy, um, helmet is a little off, but he stands perfectly. So again, while I'm going to be struggling with this, uh, this ball joint on the head, the 30th anniversary is going to be a reunion special of some of the older Mighty Morphin Power Ranger actors along with the newer, um, potentially there's going to be an, uh, a crossover with the Cosmic Fury uh, slash Dino Fury cast. Um, so they're going to be doing a third season of Dino Fury called Cosmic Fury. Um, that will most likely be playing towards the later summer months, so I'm assuming about August or September, whereas the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reunion, which is a separate special about 45 minutes in length, both of which are going to be um, premiering on Netflix, uh, both of those are going to be, um, or should I say, the, the, uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reunion 
will be playing in April. So uh, for that reunion special, you're going to get a lot of the classic Rangers. You will not be getting Austin St. John, unfortunately, because he is going through some potential legal problems. I have asked when I met Austin St. John at a recent Comic-Con convention, he told me he would not be showing up for the, uh, for the reunion. But, of course, you're still going to get the rest of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, for the exception of, of course, Jason David Frank, um, who sadly passed away. But uh, you'll get other, all the other surviving Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in their glory. Um, and, of course, most exciting, Billy and Zach, who haven't been on the show in forever. So looking forward to that. And on top of that, you're also going to get um, Billy in Cosmic Fury. So Billy's going to show up. David Yost is the actor. Uh, Billy's going to show up in the reunion special and in Cosmic Fury. So very excited about that. And I am not having luck with this head sculpt. So we're going to pop on back the helmet. Ugh. Or we're going to keep it headless. <laughs> okay, the helmet pops right back on. So I'm not going to play around with the, uh, the head sculpt for, for, um, for Austin St. John um, for Jason anymore because I'm not having luck with it. But you guys saw the head sculpt. It's a great looking. It's not a great looking head sculpt, but it's pretty good. He's a, um, he's a little like chubby in the face, which is. Um, uh, Austin St. John was in shape, um, very athletic, uh, had great martial arts in the, in the first, uh, first three seasons of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, uh, I'll get you guys one look at the hell at the head. Again, a great looking head sculpt, um, uh, or should I say an okay looking head sculpt, but, um, you know, we get a lot of Jason figures and always the head's a little off. Probably one of the better ones. Um, they do have a new release of a, uh, also um, a representation from the, the comic book is that they've got um, Jason switching powers with Trini, the Yellow Ranger. So Jason's the Yellow Ranger in this collect in this toy two pack, and Trini's the Red Ranger. I've been pondering buying that set. Um, I think that GameStop is starting to stock them right now, so I'm pondering buying that. It might have a better Jason head sculpt, so uh, because of that, that's why I buy that figure set. So let's take one last look at the figures um, before uh, I end this unboxing and quick review. Great looking figure. The helmet's a bit off. I do recommend if you want a Jason figure, this is a good way uh, to get one of those with the head sculpt. But uh, be prepared that they're going to be doing these remastered versions or re-releases potentially with different paid uh, paint apps and maybe even new uh, uh, head molds this year in 2023. So you may want to wait, and that may be the better option. Now the Red Sentry, kind of a more stylized version of the Red Ranger, and I'll play around with it a bit more, but uh, wasn't having good luck with the head sculpt, but a great figure nonetheless. And just that flowing cape, it looks great. I'm glad I bought it. Um, he had a little bit of problem with the staff, but he does hold it. Just kind of, kind of wiggle it in there. So a lot of good things happening with the uh, with the third anniversary for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, there he goes. Come on, stand. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing and review. And uh, and ooh, I'm not gonna put this lightning bolt on it first. There we go. Hopefully you guys like this unboxing and quick uh, review of the figures. Um, looking forward to the 30th anniversary. It's a, it's a really good year for long-term friends of Power Rangers. It's a really good year for new fans of Power Rangers that enjoy uh, uh, Dino Fury and will have an extension of Dino Fury with the third season called Cosmic Fury. It's a good year to be a fan for this year. This might be the last year that we get something like that. Um, and to have your favorite children's TV show have a reunion of the original cast 30 years later. That's uh, astonishing. Where do you ever get such a legacy quote where so much time has passed before you've seen those actors in those roles again? For a children's TV show or just in general? I mean, you've got maybe Star Wars, 
Um, you've got a couple instances of those legacy quills where those actors come back, but it's probably something you can count on less than two hands as far as how much time passing before an actor prizes a role in something in a genre uh, uh, type of category. And now we have that with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers this year in 2023. So very exciting. Um, and uh, the fact that we're getting a lightning collection that has been ongoing for what now, five, six years? Um, I think about five years, but uh, lightning collection is just a great way to get affordable, um, fairly high quality molds of the characters without busting the bank and busting out your wallet for something like a hot toy or there are um, high premium versions of these uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers done in other lines, but perfectly fine, perfectly suitable, and still looks great on a shelf uh, with purchasing the Lightning Collection. So that does it for me, guys. Hopefully you like this, and I will see you guys for another more phenomenal review very soon. Appreciate it, and talk to you guys later.